Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today we are on the Use It Up Challenge. You're a peach. That turn now. So this little pouch, and I adore making these pouches, or these stars of pouch. This particular one holds two Stampin' Blends. Perfect gift for anybody. I'd like some. So I thought it's a good way to use it up, use up paper. So I'm, yeah, I'm down to scraps. So no measurements. It's kind of just dependent on what you've got going inside. So let me get a couple of blends that are going to be retiring and I'm not going to be using those. That's not going to be quite long enough. I want a teeny bit longer than that. And actually probably better if I do this on my trimmer so I know I'm getting a good size. So... I'm kind of wanting to cut it about there. So we're talking about eight and three quarter inches and get rid. And then you just roll over until you know you've got enough. So that's kind of the area that I'm looking at cutting now. So what's that, four and a half? And I've just dropped the blend on the floor. So really, you're just like wrapping a present. That's really the essence of it. I'm just going to give it a bit of a roll, like, you know, turn it into a tube or a trumpet, something like that. Okay, just to give it a bit of a curl. Super simple. And it's these are such simple projects to make that the paper does the work and then you decorate and it's the decorating that goes makes people go, wow. So I've put tape on one side and I'm getting hold of my blends. I'm not worried about whether they're in, they're centered or not. I just want to get them in place. There we go. And I'm going to grab a stapler. This is an old retired Stampin' Up! stapler. And just pinch and staple at both ends. Is that slightly longer? It is a bit. That really was a scrap. There we go. Closed, simple as that, but just very nice, isn't it? Right, let's get some Whisper White. So, this is the Sweet as a Peach, and there's peaches, and there are blossoms, and then there's a big peach, and bits that you can cut out, and then all the relevant knives. So I'm gonna go with that one, and those ones for now. And I'm just going to, yeah, I can get these on here. I thought I could. <laughs> Being a bit dim today. <clears throat> a couple of blocks. One for that one. One for that one. And what colour have I got here? I want to say that is Old Olive, but it might be Pear Pizzazz. I'll go Old Olive. Yeah. And that blue is Barney Blue, which is this one. And although I went for two on this one, that was because the paper was quite plain. This has got a lot of activity on it, so yeah, scoop those out of the way. So I'm going to go with cutting some of that off first. Base plate, clear plate, stamped stuff, washi tape on the back of my hand, and then pull out the two that I want, which is the flower and the leafy stuff. Can I do all of it with one piece of washi? I think I can. Okay. And then another clear plate. Whoopsie. Oh, whoops. Over the top. And send the whole lot through. One 
flour out so I can get the rest out. Very sticky washy. Okay, get my dies, put them away because I don't want to lose them and start putting it on. So I'm going to layer that on there and what's that seal? Just onto there and then I'm going to use mini glue dots my flowers and there you can see sort of see that there are gaps for them um, where the leaves break a little bit but don't worry if you can't see the visible gaps and then the words on here there's the bigger words and then there's smaller words and I went with teeny tiny on this one let's celebrate you but I'm going to go with this one thanks so much just because I think the font is really nice and that would be that one. And what colour should I take? Oh, I don't know. Should I go with this Calypso coral? I think it might clash. Or shall I go with the black? I'll go with black. Why not? Oh, Memento is near me. Stuck my finger in it. And then down at the bottom. There we go. And where's my dimensionals? I want the edge of my dimensionals now. That should be about enough. Oh, picked up a couple there. Nice little gift. I think so. And I like to say, I love making these pouches. They are, do you know, people love getting them. They love to get the pouches. So anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.